Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create this full web page scroll effect that I used in my previous video. You can use it in a simple way like what I just showed, or you can use it to showcase or highlight different portions of a web page without having to screen record the entire process. This effect used to be so frustrating and tedious to create, but there's a simple trick that allows you to capture the entire screenshot of a web page in just a couple clicks. All you have to do is use a Chrome browser. Find a web page that you wanna take a screen capture of, and then make sure the entire web page is loaded, at least everything that you want to be in the screenshot. Then right click and select inspect. And this will open up your developer tools. Now hit control or command, shift and P, which will allow you to search for a specific command and search for screenshot. Here now you can click on a full size screenshot. And when you do, it saves your picture to your downloads. That's literally just the entire web page. Look at how long this is. The beauty of this is that now you don't need a complex compositing software like After Effects to stitch this together. Just drag and drop it into your editor of choice. I'll be using Premiere Pro to create these two different versions of this effect. So when I drop it in, I'll right click and select fill frame. Then move the Y position, which is this second number here in your effect controls panel and move it until it's off screen. Hit the stopwatch to make a keyframe, then move forward in time and click to drag the Y position until you get it off screen on the other side. A pro tip is that if you hold down shift, your movements are gonna be a lot faster. And if you want more slow detailed movement, holding control or command makes your position changes slower so that your mouse has to travel a farther distance to get the same result. And with just that, you have this, but you can take it up a notch by adding a subtle directional blur. Go down to your effects, search for directional blur, and then drop it onto your screenshot. Make sure that it's set to zero so that the blur direction is vertical, and then increase it just a little bit, just enough to give the illusion of motion. Then the final cherry on top is to add some sound effects underneath. I'm using the sound of a money printer that I got from over at motionray.com. And now if you just throw in some text with some fancy animation, that's how I got this shot in my previous video. But if instead you wanted to showcase different portions of that website, you can use the same method, but instead of animating it all the way off screen, just get it to stop at the portion you wanna showcase. Then you can right click on your starting keyframe and select temporal interpolation, easy ease out. And then go to your ending keyframe, selecting temporal interpolation, easy ease in, which will give it a smooth ramp in and out of your movements. And for added intensity, you can drop down this graph editor here and stretch out the keyframe handles like this giving you an effect where you're scrolling through different portions of your website. But the more you use this effect, the fancier you can start to get with it. Like for example, in a previous video, I used this same effect to animate the top 100 IMDb shows to showcase a new episode finding its place on the list. And there's even more complicated versions like this one that I used to highlight a huge wall of YouTube comments. If you wanted to see something more advanced like that that requires After Effects, let me know in the comments along with any other tutorials that you want me to cover. And if you found this video helpful, subscribe and check out this video for even more Premiere Pro tips.